Hi guys, today I have the Kanger MT3 cardamizer. What we're going to do today is we're going to change the wick on it because this one has a little bit of a burnt taste. So let's get started, shall we? Alright, so let's see what we're going to need today. Some tweezers, some yarn, a needle threader, some q-tips, some scissors, the atomizer, and some paper towels. So first we're going to take the atomizer out of the cartridge. Then we're going to remove this outer washer. Then we're going to remove the post. Then you're going to want to take the tweezers and remove the wick. You want to make sure that you don't bend the coil that's in there already. And this is what your wick looks like. Then we're going to remove this inner washer here. And see the coil? You want to make sure that that gets clean. What we're going to do is we're going to wash it out with really hot water. You're going to blow in it a couple times to make sure all that gunk is out of there. And we're going to replace that rubber washer. We're going to slide the needle threader into it and we're going to put the cotton yarn into that and you want to make sure that you don't bend the coil here and what we're going to do is we're going to flip this over and we're going to make that into our flavor wick and what we're going to do is we're going to put this post back on to hold everything in place and what you want to do is you want to cut the excess yarn off the edges there and what you want to make sure is that the yarn does not go past that rubber washer or you're going to lose your seal we're going to put this rubber washer back on here and we're going to screw it on and we're done and now you're ready to go.